Coming up next on the Forbes.com video network, the first woman tourist to fly in space. Lift off of the Soyuz rocket transporting Mike Lopez Alegria, Mikhail Turin, and Anushe Ansari to their microgravity home in space. Somewhere in a forgotten room of a company just like yours, a brilliant idea laid gathering dust. This is incredible. I asked for this three years ago. It's been sitting there for two. The guy who designed it never connected with the people who could make it in France, Taiwan. The idea just died on the vine. No, it didn't die. Guy left, took your intellectual property and started his own company. The greatest asset, showing now. Welcome back to Adventurer, the show where people truly push their lives to the limits. I'm your host, Jim Clash. We've had male astronauts on this program, notably moonwalker Buzz Aldrin and space tourist knot Greg Olson. Today we get the female view on space. Our special guest, Anusha Ansari, recently returned from a week at the International Space Station. Anusha, thank you so much for coming in. This is such an honor to have you pleasure. on our show. Look, I'm a baby boomer. What you've done, gone up to the International Space Station, is, is the dream of all of us baby boomers. Um, did you have any thought about spending $20 million to do this? It's very expensive now. Uh, I know you, your family is, is a billionaire family, but $20 million is a lot of money. Did, did that make you think twice? No, it's a dream that I had since I was a child. So for me, no price was too high. I had told the people that I would have gone if they told me this is a one-way ticket. So it's something that I believed in and wanted to do so much that uh, it wasn't a matter of what the price was. It had to be just the right thing for me and knowing that I would be able to do it. And as I understand it, you just turned 40 years old right yes. before your flight. So yes. was that a present that you got, the flight? Birth, uh, in, 40th birthday in, birthday? in a way, it was <laughs> a, it was something that made my 40th birthday one of the most special birthdays I will ever have, and I don't think I can top that. <laughs> when you were up in space, um, you know we've all seen the pictures, but can you describe the view of the Earth from being in space? Uh, it's amazing. It's something that will stay with you forever, no matter how many pictures you see. When you see it with your own eyes, it's special. I remember uh, looking at Earth from the Soyuz capsule before I got to the station. Uh, for the first time and uh, tears started rolling down my face because it was one of the most beautiful views knowing that you know this is our only home uh, the peaceful planet that you can see from up there and when you're down here on earth living you just can't see that and feel that but when you have a chance to see it from space you get a new perspective on what it is and how important it is for us to preserve it and keep it a peaceful place for us to live. Wow, uh, like I can only imagine. Uh, now you were the first woman space tourist. As a woman, um, among all these men in the space station, did you feel any um, any different? Was it uh, was it was there anything strange about it? No, it was actually very comfortable. Um, I had trained with the uh, folks that I went up with, Mike L.A. and Mikhail Turin, mm -hmm. uh, for a while uh, before the flight, and we became good friends. And they were great guys to work with very professional and uh, they were very um, you know respectful of my abilities and uh, very respectful of my privacy when I needed that and uh, I had a great time. Oh that's great. I know your family, the Ansari family, has been very uh, involved in, in uh, space tourism and the ten million dollar Ansari prize which Bert Rutan and mm -hmm and uh, Mike Melville and Brian Binney one was, was put up by your family. How are you involved in, in, in the future of space tourism? Um, space travel and space exploration is a high priority for me. I think it's very important for the future of human race and I want to make sure that I do my part in making sure that everyone understand how important it is and I want to inspire young minds to uh, get interested into space sciences. So uh, to do that, and I want more people to be able to fly to space and get the view I told you, because I think when you see that, uh, you become a better person and you'll be able to make the Earth a better place to live. So I'm doing a lot of work, continuing my work with the XPRIZE Foundation in designing future prizes. Uh, Anything in, in we, you can talk about? Not yet. Okay. There's a lot of things in the works. We're evaluating things, uh, but it will be the next logical step. So we've done suborbital, so the next logical steps is to look at orbital flights and 
lunar flights because that's a priority right now for NASA. So those are some of the areas we're exploring. And uh, also, I'm going to do, from an educational perspective, work with XPRIZE to put an educational program together and go around and talk to as many school uh, students and uh, university students and tell them about my experience and the importance of space exploration. Well, we're almost out of time, but can I ask you, would, would you go back up into space again? In a heartbeat. <laughs> I didn't want to come back. I mean, they had to chase me and find me and put me back in the capsule to get me down. <laughs> but it's something that I definitely would want to do again. Well, thank you so much for coming on the thank show. You. It's an it was, honor. Was Good luck pleasure. in the future. Thank you very much. Again, space tourist Anush Ansari. I'm Forbes adventurer Jim Clash. For more, see my column in Forbes magazine or go to Forbes.com slash adventurer. And thanks for watching the Forbes.com video network.